Welcome to Dude RV. Hey, I appreciate you stopping by. And of course you got here just in time. That's right, just in time because it's Friday and it's time for another edition of Friday's Finds. Now, if you're following the channel, you know that we are planning on selling the house and moving to the 10 acres, building a barn dough. I've been assigned the task of making the outside of the house presentable, which requires a lot of pressure washing. So a couple weeks ago, Miko reached out to me and they said, hey, we've, we've got some pressure washing stuff. Would you, would you work with us? And I'm like, I need you, especially if I'm to clean this. So they've sent us some some cool stuff and we're gonna we're gonna unbox it and then you get to watch me do some work <laughs> i gotta get out of this house so we got four items that we're gonna or actually five items that we're gonna talk about one of those is the pressure washer that i'm gonna be using this is the greenworks pro 2300 max psi electric pressure washer that thing gets the job done I, when trudy thunder's dirty this is the unit that i use to clean it when the white truck is dirty this is what i use to clean it i am it's got a, a soap dispenser built in your nozzles are easy to keep up with you've got about 20 feet of hose it's just a really good piece of equipment and you can't go wrong with it so that's our that's our pressure washer now let's see what we're going to be attaching to the pressure washer we'll start with we'll start with this one this one's very intriguing to me now i have handfuls of pressure washer nozzles don't ask me where they all are fortunately uh when i bought the green works I'm, I'm a little easy better able to keep up with them keeping up with all those nozzles is a pain in the butt especially if you're working when miko showed this to me i'm like oh that is that's that is the answer to my problem or one of my problems. Comes with an instruction manual. I don't think we're going to need too much instruction on there. And it went through quality control. So this is what we're talking about. Check this out. We have all the different nozzles built in so we don't have to stop and go get find the nozzle it's already here two four six there's seven different nozzles in one unit so normally you got to take that nozzle off and then go find your other nozzle and put that on meanwhile you set that down and it might get lost with this you're good to go and you can see on the side which nozzle you're using lines right up at the top and you're good to go well if you're working close up sometimes that wand is a little too long And there's not any way to make that shorter. Well, Miko has better cleaning. Their, their slogan is better cleaning, better value. They have also included the handheld wash pressure washer. The handheld nozzle. Quite not very heavy duty. That's awesome. 
and that will accept nozzles everything you need to use it you put that multi nozzle on there and you won't have to worry about keeping up with those meanwhile you got a bag you can keep them in teflon tape on that it even includes the teflon tape i like that it's it's got a swivel so your hose doesn't get all wound up <clears throat> now we need to move to the big box So this this is the this is a site the the surface cleaner the floor cleaning tool comes with instructions on how to assemble okay there's a lot of stuff in this box let, let me do the assemble and then we'll talk about it I like this so you have your, your control nozzle is here on this end, or on the handle, naturally. Winter has arrived. We don't get a lot of snow here in Texas in the winter. Occasionally we do, and when we do, it's a horrible thing. We get a lot of rain though. And since we are in an El Nino winter, we're supposed to have a whole lot of rain. So when, when heights, Casilla reached out to me. Hold on. So when the good folks at High C, High C reached out to me and asked if I'd do a, if I'd wear their boots when it's cold and wet, I said absolutely. And I'm excited about that because that is a stylish waterproof boot. Let me put these on and we'll take a look at them. neoprene up there a little more flexible all right we are ready to hook up a pressure washer and go to work all connected the pressure the surface cleaner actually has a lifetime warranty really all you gotta do is scan that code and put in a little information and you got a tool for life all hooked up got to plug in well, let me power up and we'll go to work
lot easier on my hands. I've got hand, I got nerve stuff going on in my hands. So I've done half of this stretch of sidewalk. I've done all of this. I'm gonna let this dry so we can kind of see how that works out. Meanwhile, I got a driveway to clean. This is pretty cool. It does, it is not something you rush. Now, if I had a, I think if I had a bigger pressure washer, I could probably go faster. You can see where I cleaned half the sidewalk. The amount of sand and dirt that's coming up is just really surprising. All right, I'm gonna finish this project and then uh, we'll talk about the wand. I'm liking these boots. They're very comfortable and they're keeping my feet dry. Finished with the whole driveway uh, with, with the floor cleaner, the, the surface cleaner. Uh, I think I'm gonna come, I'm gonna use the wand on a wide because I, I stirred up a lot of stuff and I did it in stripes because I'm going downhill and as a result I had some bleed over so I'm gonna spend a little more time with the wide angle on this one but before I do that I wanted to show you the sidewalk now that it's dry that's the side that was cleaned this is the side that was not of course I sprayed the edge that's all right you know what I like these boots but that cleaner, I, I, you don't get nearly as wet with with that than when you're using a wand. But I like these boots. All right, I have to go back to work. about this is you can get up close Oop, I gotta turn on the power Something else I like about it. So we pop that off. You ever seen one of those? So I needed to clean the fender wells. I'm getting in there. Now this this is not from Miko. This is not from Miko. They may have one, but I, I had this from. Yeah, I had a, had another issue. And I needed this, and I'll include the link. I'll put that on the. I'll put that on the shopping list too. But that's a 90 degree. So that way you can do fender wells. This will beat the whole home here. <laughs> it gets the job done. I'm real impressed with the Miko line of pressure washer equipment. I really am. And I really like these. Can't say can't say enough good things about these boots. They're way more comfortable than the other ones that I have been using for years. I like that neoprene top. I don't 
stuff doesn't fall down inside. Well, that brings us to the end of this pressure washing edition of Friday's Finds. Oh, that driveway looks good. It looks new. I want to give a special shout out of thanks to Miko and Hi C for sponsoring this edition of Friday's Finds. If it wasn't for the sponsors, I wouldn't have a show. Oh, that looks so good. She's going to be happy. If I had a bigger pressure washer, that would have gone so much faster. This thing is awesome. If I'd have had a high, more pressure coming out of the, the pressure washer, this would have gone much faster. But it was still, it, it took about the same amount of time as doing it with the wand. And my arms don't hurt nearly as bad. What I really liked about that surface cleaner is I didn't really need those boots because I didn't have water spraying, splashing everywhere. It was very contained going straight down if you've got a big driveway or a big patio or big shop big spread of concrete somewhere you need to clean that's the way to go right there i like that i like the little i like the convenience of the sprayer derringer i like the convenience of the multi nozzle of course being able to pressure wash around corners is always a handy thing when you're cleaning fender wells. Of course, I love my, my Greenworks 2300 PSI electric pressure washer. It gets, it gets the job done. Now, if I was doing this commercially, that probably wouldn't be enough pressure, but I'm not doing it commercially. So, but we're doing, I'm, I'm kind of rambling along. All of these products can be purchased on Amazon. Well, I'll provide you with a link in the description as well as in the card up there. That link will take you to the Dude RV Gear Recommendations Amazon page. Your business is most appreciated. It would really help me out if you could at least just go visit those folks on Amazon. If you could just visit their, their listings and check them out. Maybe you need them, maybe you don't, but it would help me if you just go see what they have to offer. If you've not already, I'd be most honored if you'd consider clicking on the subscribe button. And for those of you who have been following along, man, I sure appreciate you. That's why I get to do what I do. Thank you so much. And for my patrons, we are most grateful for your generosity. You guys rock. All right, y'all come back now, you hear?